In Python, string is a data type and string variables can hold sequences of text. A string literal is the actual string value or text used inside your Python program. A programmer creates a string literal by surrounding text with single or double quotes. For example, name is assigned to Bob, where Bob is in quotation marks and Bob is the string literal and name is the string variable. You can even assign string variables to other string variables. The string data type is also called a sequence type because it holds characters in a specific order. For example, the word hello is a string where H is at index position zero and the E in hello is at index position one. And then the L's are at two and three and the O in hello is at index four. You can access any of these characters by placing the index in brackets. And we'll show an example of this in a bit. And you can also use the input function to get strings from user input while your program is executing. And the length of a string refers to the number of characters inside that string. For example, the string Bob has a length of three. And to get the length of a string in your program, use the len function. Strings are immutable, which means that you cannot change the characters of a string's value through the use of functions. Functions instead don't alter a string, but return back an all new version of that string, and then maybe reassign that string variable to that new version, but they can't change the original string. And you can even glue strings together using the plus operator, which concatenates strings, such as if you had the string hello, and then you had another string variable that was assigned to world, you can concatenate them together with a plus and it would together be hello world. All right, let's try out some strings in Python. All right, in this Python program, let's create a few strings. First name is Tony. Last name, Montana, All right? And we can create a new variable called full name and assign that to first name, oops, first underscore name plus space so that we have a separator between first and last name plus last name. And let's try to print out the full name, print. Click run, and it prints Tony Montana to the screen. If we wanted to see how long the string Tony Montana is, we could print out the results of the len function and sticking full name as an argument to that function. And it should print out that it's 12 characters in length. And if you count the characters, there should be 12 of them. You could also replace full name with just first name. And it should be four because Tony is just four characters. To read string input in your program, you can also do something like this. So you can just get rid of the word Tony right there and just say input. Get rid of last name right there. And we could also say input there. And then we could just run the program. And now it's reading it from input. But while the program is running, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, so what you could do is let's stop the program. Let's actually prompt the user enter first name and then prompt them to enter the last name too. So let's run the program. Now we know what we're supposed to do. So let's we'll type Tony Montana and then it prints out the full name and the number of characters in the first name. 